Welcome to this week's Swarf and Chips. I've made the journey to Bridgewater in Somerset, the home of MCNC. These guys have expanded from one unit to five unit in less than three years, but also invested heavily with DMG Mori. This is a great success story in the UK, UK manufacturing at its best with partnerships and collaboration. We're gonna take you through that journey. Lee, great UK manufacturing success story here at MCNC, but you, tell us about your journey over the last three years here. <laughs> it's been um, a, a, one hell of a roller coaster, that's for sure, Mark. Uh, it, we've grown incredibly and, and it's been one hell of a challenge, but when we've got a great team behind us, it's, it's one of these companies and jobs that I don't set my alarm to get out of bed. I enjoy engineering. UK manufacturing is awesome. And, when you've got a, an MD that's willing to invest in machinery and people um, and other things to make things work and make it happen um, without all the bureaucracy of paperwork and justifying yourself. Mark's brief to me was just get out there. I need to diversify because we had too many eggs in one basket. So. Mark um, initially went out to uh, and purchased a five axis machine and that was, start, was the start of our journey. And it, it was a trip over to Wemo. We were considering buying another five axis machine and we came away with um, a, buying seven. So, and from that point when those installations were first um, installed, the second unit was acquired, word got out, our capabilities increased and people were genuinely interested to learn about our capabilities and our performance and what we could do. The problem that I had then was I managed to secure some new business but then our existing customers started to find out so they were giving us more. So rather than simple two or three axes turn components we ended up having more complex parts, more difficult to machine materials so we moved away from your ferrous materials and we're very heavy into non-ferrous. So your titaniums, your stainless steels, your ink canals, your hastaloys. It's just been incredible and I can't believe that three and a half years has just gone by in the blink of an eye. We all know that uh, it's challenging times at the moment, but you guys uh, against the curve have invested in four more machines with DMG Mori. What does that allow you to offer to the marketplace, Lee? Diversification. Um, we're not necessarily restricted to one market or one sector. As a result of the, the different kinds of machines that we've got, whether it's a, a mill turn with 11 axes or a simple three axis vertical machining center, it enables us to approach much more varied markets. So we're very successful in the defense market at the moment. We're very successful uh, although it has dried up due to the current times in the aerospace sector, un unfortunately, like a lot of other people. Um, we're very heavy into, and I have to be careful what I say, but certain high-end motorsport vehicle manufacturers, we have been involved in a lot of rapid prototyping of um, engine components and drivetrain components. Well, yeah, very much the automotive sector is obviously changing there and obviously you're adapting with that. But when I look at some of your components for, to, to some of your complex pragmatic uh, parts, I mean, they're fantastic. But when I look at some of the very simple products, you're, you're quite happy to do both, aren't you here? Yes, and exactly. We can do anything from a, a 20 millimeter diameter washer all the way through to a very sexy gearbox case or an engine cowling or whatever it might be exotic boys toys that we uh, also manufacture here um, from jet powered surfboards to UAV components it's the flexibility and the diversification is just our niche and what we're very good at is we encourage our team to be the best they can be at all times so even if you are making a washer you make the best washer you can make um, you make the best 
gearbox you can make. You make the best shaft you can make. Be the best you can be at all times. And I suppose without DMG Morris' help, you know, they give you the, uh, a superb finance package. You're now into automation. You're embracing digitization and the service and backup. You know, how, how does that compare? Well, I, I think it's um, quite evident that if the backup and the service wasn't there, I don't. Would we be investing again with DMG Mori? What I like about them is their support, their backup, and the fact that uh, Robbie is a fantastic guy. Any issues, any problems, we work together. So we're, we collaborate effectively. So if they, something new comes on the market and I'm, I've got a project, I can call Robbie in and say, hey, what do you think would be the best process for this? If I'm looking at a high volume, something or other, um, Robbie again are come in and suggest a, an automation, which is what led us to buy a 10 pallet pool for our DMU, our first DMU 50. Um, and as a consequence, that's why we've got a second. So the, the last three years have certainly been very bright. Obviously, we're going through challenging uh, situations, let's say, but you continue investing, you're investing in people. I know you haven't got a crystal ball, but what do you think the future holds for MCNC? Uh, if I'm being brutally honest with myself and the company, the next six to eight weeks I think are going to be quite tough. Um, we were busy throughout and we were lucky enough um, not to furlough any of our staff, uh, apart from one or two individuals that um, had to self-isolate for their medical reasons. I, I think the next six, eight weeks are going to be tough, but it's definitely not doom and gloom out there. We are involved in some very high-end projects at the moment. And yeah, I can't wait till the beginning of the new year, invite you back, invite you guys back and show you what we can do and what we are capable of. Ewan, it's a great success story here at MCNC, but it's not just about investment, it's also people. And you've recently joined uh, as an apprentice. Tell us a little bit about that journey. So basically started three years ago. I'm on my last year now, so qualified in about March or so. Um, yeah, I started kind of not knowing anything about engineering came here you know they they wanted a bit of a back to basics approach kind of building me up you know basics of engineering itself how to do the job and then slowly moving me in towards the bigger machines and um yeah well that's quite quite interesting isn't it because you, you know obviously not having an opportunity maybe to go to college these guys have actually taken giving you a massive chance here. But when we're talking about this uh, part that you're making behind us, now recently the, you guys have taken uh, delivery of this CLX. You know, what are the changes to the part based on this machine now? So basically before we did this job on other machines, we could only do certain features on it due to lack of capabilities. But now that we have this, we've got a new tool that basically shortens the operations. We would have one turning up and then one milling up to add some holes whereas now it is one up complete saving the whole setup of another machine and one up complete. Well that's fair, it makes it very cost effective obviously and finally when you look at this uh, latest machine and the software that you're working with you know tell me a little bit about your thoughts and how good this machine really is. It's brilliant really compared to some of the other stuff I've worked on in here it's a lot quicker it's pretty simple to use um, you can go from kind of knowing basic line by line coding and this can, you put it into that. It's the first type of um, machine that we've got in here with this control. I'm loving it. It's well, completely as different. I, yeah. As I say, that must be a, a great thing to, to actually work on a machine like this. But, you know, for three years to get onto this machine, you've done very well. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm happy with how I've progressed and I'd say it's one of the only ones in here like it. Robbie, it's been a great story from uh, MCNC over the years, you know, going from one unit to five units, 12 DMG Mori machines. But from your perspective, tell me a little bit about the journey that you've been through over the last sort of three years with them. Um, obviously, from a capacity perspective, um, I mean, it's quite self-explanatory. We've, we've covered lots of different types of machines, um, doing lots of different sort of complexities of work. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we work very, very closely with MCNC from um, applications, engineering, service. Um, so we've got a, uh, yeah, a great sort of uh, collaboration connection. Um, and 
Yeah. I mean, that, that's quite interesting because looking at the size of components that they can actually uh, make now, it's very diverse, isn't it? And the materials that they can actually uh, use on the machines, it does give them a lot more opportunity to win different work, doesn't it? Yeah, the way that um, they've sort of configured their capacity list, they've allowed themselves to really go out and, and um, sort of win work across the board, aerospace, defense, medical, it doesn't matter where it's from, really, you know, within reason, the size as well. Um, these guys are geared up to, to basically pull in work from lots of different industries and lots of different complexities of work. And, uh, and also, uh, looking at your new uh, offerings from DMG Mori worldwide, but for the UK market, you know, they're embracing some of those, like, you know, the finance package, obviously the service package, digitalization as well, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, digitization. I mean, um, every machine in here is connected to their network. Every machine in here will have the new net service package. And they use my DMG Mori to um, go on, check their machines, check the history of the machines, and also log any, any issues that they've got, go straight into our server, straight to Coventry or to Germany or Japan. Um, and we can basically uh, resolve service-related issues much quicker than sending an engineer to site, diagnose, um, it's just a much more efficient um, and productive use of theirs and our time. And also out of those new offerings, they've embraced automation with the PH150 system that uh, I believe is a 10 pallet. So yet again, they, they are using your full potential of um, new products. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think global industry, manufacturing industry, it's especially UK manufacturing, is adopting automation, whether it's just a simple bar feed and parts catcher through to multi-pallet or, or even a um, you know, all singing, all dancing cell um, that the parts handled all the way through to packaging. So that includes um, you know, marking it, cleaning it, deeper everything. And it's all supplied by DMG Mori. So we really can pull in everything from finance, the, the actual technology, the actual machine tool, the service, applications, all of it comes in um, as a well-rounded package that we can support UK manufacturing and global manufacturing um, to, to maximise on their productivity and efficiency. And I think finally, when you look at the, uh, the way the world is, uh, you know, with COVID-19, I mean, th this is a great example of a company future-proofing themselves and investing, not necessarily at the right time, but for the future. Well, yeah, these guys are getting ready. Um, hopefully, we'll start to see the back end of this year as we move out, work picks back up and you know, demand for aerospace picks back up. These guys are ready to move. Um, and as we, we spoke about earlier, um, with, with the space they've got, they're ready to invest, um, depending on what new work they get in as well. So they're a very, very reactive company um, to new work, old existing work as well. And I suppose this is a really good case study for you to show uh, other companies around the UK how important it is about investment, automation, digitization, finance and service. Exactly, yeah. It's been an incredible journey here at MCNC in Bridgewater. Not only are they investing at the highest end with DMG Murray, they've invested in people here and they continue to do so. So if you're looking to outsource parts from a very small part like this and possibly basic to high position products like you see here, speak to MCNC.